foremost one of all praise, glory, and honor. To Yahweh, Bashir Yahushai, Bashir Kakudash. Come on, listen to the elders and apostles. Give us that close call. I can bring up this word, diligence and truth. And we come uh, another week through the spirit, diligent. Hey, to, to prophesy the, the downfall of America until you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and that you are the chosen people of the, of the Heavenly Father, man, who you ignorantly call Jesus, you know, you ignorantly call uh, uh, God, whose true name uh, is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. Yah meaning he, uh, uh, Yahweh meaning he exists, and Yahweh Shai meaning he is the deliverer, man. Right. And today is what, uh, January 19th, you know, a day before so-called uh, Martin Luther King Day, man. And you know the the sentiment around the country is that civil unrest is soon about to uh, soon about to happen, man. And you have a uh, it was I believe Senator John McCain, uh, he was one of the senators that didn't believe that Martin Luther King Day right. should have been uh, established upon the, the soils of America. And that, and his state was actually the the last state to um, to actually make this an official uh, memorial holiday. or holiday, man. Hey, but it's a reason why, man. It's a reason to why we shouldn't be worshiping hey, these false men, man. Hey, because your leaders such as Martin Luther uh, King, whose real name is uh, Michael, you know, uh, Malcolm X, you know, all these different leaders, man. Hey, these are uh, leaders, blind leaders leading the blind. Can we grab that Matthew? Matthew 14 and 13. Matthew? Yeah, it's Matthew 14 and 13. Yeah, we're going to grab John okay. Matthew. Okay. Hey, because these leaders are one that's set up by uh, your elite. Man, the so-called Rothschilds, the, the the Rockefellers, the the Duponts, the Gettys, hey, what you know them as the the Illuminati, man. They set up these puppet leaders of our nation in order to just uh, dump, dumb down the minds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And they're all juiced in. Yeah. Okay? That's how you know they ain't right. They're all juiced in. Then when you actually get do a diligent search into their history, you find out that they were right along with anti things that go with this button. Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. It says, It says, um, Yeah, let them alone. Uh, let me read up uh, one, one verse 13. It says, Yeah, yep, it says, But he answered and said, Every plant. Which, which my father, my heavenly father hath not planted, shall be rooted up. Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. God, and one of the topics that we go into, you know, is that, that Israel, you know, in the time of, uh, what was it, in the, in the book of 1 uh, Samuel, you know, when, uh, when Israel was looking for a leader, what did our people do, man? They chose King Saul, why? They chose him because he was higher in stature, man. You know, he was, he was bigger, he was probably swollen than everybody. Hey, but that's just the, the simple minds of Jake, man. They they pick their leaders not due to the, the the morality or the or the the, the basis in which they stand, but because of the the, the message that they bring, man. Yeah. And that's and that's totally off. Hey, because I, one, it's like because if one if if the the person that you are calling your leader, if they aren't coming out the the law, statutes, and commandments, and the holy scriptures and truth, hey, you know, because we have uh, we have people within this nation that try to come out of our Bible, hey, but they do it towards uh and do it from maliciousness, man. But it has to be out of truth, man. So, and Martin, Ma, uh, Michael, or uh, Martin Luther King, as you call him. to respect him as Martin Luther King, man. Kind. Okay. It's hard. As Martin Luther King, as you call him, he was not a man that was withholding the statues of the scriptures, man. He was not a man of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, he was actually an agent for Satan, man. You know? Because what, what he did was what? Hey, through the ideologies of uh, so-called Martin Luther King, it was to what? To be uh, integrated, man. Integration, meaning what? To be, to be together, everyone in a, in a, in a, in a, in a system together, man. Join hand in Join the hand. Grab that. Proverbs 11 and 21. Really quick, bro. Go ahead. If I may say, the purpose of the civil rights movement, they make it a civil rights thing. But really, it was to integrate, you know, the, the masses together right. up under this one world, you know, system, so to speak. Right. And which the top would be able to benefit from you know, by uh, uh, setting up yeah. all these different uh, puppet leaders. A lot of these uh, movements that you see that got a lot of acclaim uh, and a lot of influence. Esau always had his hand in those movements. Yeah. Any Anytime you see a so-called prominent uh, figure or leader within uh, the, the realm of Jake in a community, if there's an Edomite standing behind him and backing him, you better believe that there's some type of uh, uh, a hidden motive or agenda behind it, man. 
Because it's not, it, it, Esau is never for your benefit. He's never for the interests of your people. That's why it tells you that in Sirach, the 12th chapter, if you be uh, uh, hit with adversity, they will find him there first. Because it will seem like he's there to help you, but really he's there to supplant you. Yeah, you gotta get that. Get it. Sirach 12. Yep. I mean, that's, 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 that's why, uh, uh, what's one with that? Uh, they formed the uh, black, yeah. yeah exactly. They formed uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, but J uh, uh, Justice Johnson yeah. showed up. He was like, Justice, what you doing here? I don't here to help our people. You ain't here for that. Get your ass out of here. God, they ran him about it. And then on top of that, they put uh, the, 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 the so-called end up as the, as the face of it, man. I believe it's three of them as the face of it. Hey, but who? Yeah, who's lesbians up? too. Con, but who funded it? I believe George Soros funded Con. it. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, much like with the end up with ACP, man. And if you niggas are still calling yourself color people, man, this shows you how dumb down you are, man. You lost, man. They say people of color. No, oh, that's even worse. You know? Because that's not who you are either, man. Let's start with verse uh, 16. Sirach chapter uh, uh, 12, verse 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Wait a minute. 15. For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Into a, a, into a system. Yeah. A, 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 a system of oppression. God. But what came from what they tried to accomplish with that whole movement? Right. It didn't stop, it didn't, it didn't stop Jacob from still getting their hand kicked in right. by the police. Exactly. It, didn't, it didn't keep them from being as discriminated against them. Yeah, we did integrate, but what happened? How we were living after the uh, so-called civil rights time, because really, like when we had our own shit, we exactly. were living uh, uh, self-sufficient uh, 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 on our own, yeah. without without having to depend upon Esau. Yeah. Yeah. We were better Esau off. Use these motherfuckers so that no, y'all niggas gotta come up. Everybody come up under us. They kind, because you know? it was so much. So Esau was very tactical in those in those in those decades and in those years. And because when you see when how how integration actually happened, man. You had, he picked out so-called Jakes, man. He picked out very select Jakes to, to basically further his program, It was handpicked by Esau, exactly. bro. Exactly. Hey, because when you look at different cases, like uh, the Little Rock Nine, for example, man, when you look at cases like that, you know, you had nine Jakes that are basically trying to go to an uh, all-white school, man. Hey, but so what did that do? That made Esau, uh, he put you in that school, even though Esau didn't want you to integrate, hey, because we were better off without without this devil, man. Hey, can you read that in uh, Proverbs really quick, bro? You know, imagine, you know, you at one point in time, you had the power to, to educate and enlighten your yeah. own children. But now you over here marching and fighting for validation from, from your oppressor, your enemy. For him to basically institutionalize you, yeah. to, to brainwash you and, and give you his so-called education, man. And what it did, it's like it, but what it and did. Now, it's like it. And now look forward, fast forward. Yeah. You fight for that cause, now your children are subject to you know, same-sex marriage, uh, 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 gender uh, fluidity. No. What's that? Uh, what's that guy? What's that guy that, 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 that he just died? The black big lip nigga, man, that from the civil rights movement. Uh, oh, he, Senator, he, whatever. Yeah, ball head. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, something. Yeah, something like that. Never liked that nigga, cause you live to see from that day to now, and you still pushing for them. It's like Clemens or something like that. I forgot his first name, but yeah. You seen what, what what the intent was? Okay, your intent might have been right back then, but look how what has gotten us today. You're still pushing for that system to, to, to let us in. We're in their system and it didn't work. It's never gonna work. All it did was put their people right above us to be, to be more directly sure of what we're, uh, what, 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 we're uh, what we're learning, what we're, uh, uh, what we're uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What we're, what we're teaching our children, what we're, what we're entertained by. It just kept that, uh, uh, that, that bulldog, if you would, uh, right that close over us, where well, you didn't have to come to our neighborhood to see us. You live next door to us. Huh? Uh, did you read that? Yeah, Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand joined in hand, the wicked should not be unpunished. Kind, because our people love being yoked together with Esau and his agenda, man. Hey, but you don't understand that that agenda that Esau is pushing, you know, it's, it's putting you further and further from, from being in the spirit with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, Esau, with Esau ideologies, you become more carnal, and you become more base, you become like a beast, man. More emotional. Yeah, more emotional, yeah. you know? 
Khan, yeah. Khan, you for you forget the morals that you're supposed to withhold as, as you as an Israelite, man. When you fall out the Esau, you have no morals. Yeah, Khan, Khan, Khan. Hey, so with that integration, man, and with with everything that happened, you know, you basically push to be, hey, you push to be a nigga, really. You push to be less than less than less than a man. Hey, cause when you when, when integration did happen, it still wasn't no smooth transition, man. You know, you still had Jakes that was getting. Hey, the, if you look at documentaries to see what the Little Rock Nine went through, man. Hey, they they got spit on, they got beat. Hey, but you show, it shows how hard Esau pushed, cause he brought the um he brought the army into that school, man, just to protect them Jake children. Con, that's what you get. Hey, look, put the camera on it, bro. That's what you get with integration, man. I think I might be a hand mic too, man. Hey, but you get you get you get Jake you get Jake raised without without the, the father in their homes. Hey, because you allow Esau to be your lord, man. You know, you basically put him hey, cause like what the brother was saying, with the um, when Esau putting Jake Jake and them together, man, it made Jake easily influenced, man. It made them hooked onto the to the, the society and basically a new world order, man. You know? Yeah, it's funny, it's like it, but like the scripture tells us about Jacob and Esau, two manner of people to come out of one womb. But when we integrated, we're, we're not the same type of people. So oh. what has to happen? One has to have to assimilate to the other. One, one has to conform yeah. to, conform to the ways. To the other yeah. And why is it us conforming unto him? <laughs> You know, it's us from the righteous nature yeah. that we should have, yeah. conforming unto his wicked nature. Well, why was that the case? Because he was the head over us for a dominion and time. Okay? But you people love to have it so in this wicked society. You love to have this wicked uh, man because you see him prospering in us. It won't benefit us because we're not supposed to profit on, on the same thing he does. We're two yeah. different manner of people. Right. After integration, look at the family structure. Yeah. Pay attention closely. Post civil rights era and pre civil rights. Because pre civil rights, we had family. Yeah. The father he went out and worked. All he had to do was work one job, yeah. and that and that was enough that he made a, a salary that could basically pay for a whole household. He could sustain a whole household. He could have a, a, a car, maybe an extra Two uh, cars. vehicle, a home, an actual house with multiple bedrooms. Yeah. You know, bathrooms. You know, y'all had the little uh, dog with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like it was the traditional family structure, man. Yeah, yeah. But then post civil rights, yeah, the man came in. along with a uh, women's rights shit too. Yeah, they came right along. Yeah, the same. that came was right all along the same. They did that all in the same thing. They, they passed a lot of laws in that same time as they was integrating us into white people with, with, with the other uh, with the Edomites, basically white people. They um they also was dividing us from our women. At the same time, so even though we're together today and they don't want to, this generation don't want to give it up, the next generation was like, well, I don't have to take your shit. Yeah. You know, and, it, and now we can the, work. Now we can now, now we can, we can work. work. When that, I brought up that George, uh, not George, uh, 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 not Alex Russo, Aaron Russo, wrote the Aaron Russo interview, he said, hey, the whole women's live movement, and now we have an extra tax pay. Exactly. And then now they, because they have to work, they can't teach their own children. They have to come to us to teach their children. And we'll teach them what we want them to know. Exactly. That's exactly, we're way worse off uh, before this integration happens. And Martin Luther King, I have to call him that right now, is at the forefront of this shit, man. Because everybody refers to that civil rights movement with him. And guess who was his mentor? Yep. Mayor Rustin. Yep. All right, Mayor Rustin, he was a, he was a, a, a straight out. The reason why he wasn't at the forefront, he was, he was, he was the hidden hand behind, uh, uh, you know, grouping up all the loose folk around the uh, uh, you know? And, and, and the dudes were all agents, man. But he was, he was the hidden hand behind it because of his open uh, gay lifestyle that they had to basically put, you know, they, they basically had to hide him, you know? So, so he stood in the background and, and they put, you know, all loose folk uh, cool down. But hey, what did that, what did that overall entail? Now the, the uh, he worked after that after they established that platform, they was able to uh, amalgamate the struggles of the so-called black and Latino community yeah. with the with the the, late, the gays and, and, and lesbians, man, yeah. the transgenders. Exactly right. And now when you look at that rainbow flag, why you think they add the black and the brown to the rainbow? And the first so-called black president, who they say reminds you of, of Martin Luther King, and and uh, uh, who was and uh, what was the other guy? 
uh, the president, um, the other president, uh, Clinton. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Who? The, 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 Kennedy. Sixty-five. Lincoln. Lincoln. God damn. Oh. Uh, Lincoln. They, they said those two guys which had to do with the slaves. So that got your attention. Then they pulled you in with the whole gate, the gate movement of the shit, man. He saw slick, man. Slick. You people are too stupid to see it. Yeah, go with that, right? Man, that's why you go back to uh, Sir Mike Twelve. Yeah, I'm yeah. on it. You know. I'm on it. All right. So hit it, hit it while we while we do it. This is Isaiah, chapter uh, nine, and verse sixteen. For the leaders of these people cause them to err, uh -huh. and they that are led of them are destroyed. <laughs> the leaders of these people cause you to err, man. Cause you to go in every wrong direction, man. Cause you to fall out. Hey, in the great movie Esau, man, had you lose your power, man. And hey, you can no longer believe, believe in what you believe, man, under Esau. You can no longer be a man under Esau. And hey, you can no longer be a woman under Esau, man. You know, you have to completely come forward. Come on, you have to, hey, like the scriptures say, go to them that go into Egypt for the, for the, for the order of all things, man. Yeah, for, for, uh, that going down to Egypt. For help, come You know, because that's exactly what it did, man. And you were, you were dependent upon, upon uh, what you did, man, until you gave your power to this devil, man, thinking that, that his society was going to better you. And well, that's, that's where you, that's where you messed up, man. Following Martin Luther King and uh, other puppets that Esau uh, put out for you, man. But before Martin Luther King died, he realized he made a speech. Yeah, made a speech. He made a speech but he realized um, he had said that he had um, led his people into a burning building, yeah, yeah. burning house, burning house. And, but that one never gets brought up. No, all his best speeches were after he realized that he never bring those. They never bring those up. They always bring his. It's the same plantation Christianity movement that they were doing in the 1800s. They, they began it. They was had it going through him. Same tactic. But by that time, he saw. Had already got the use out of him, so they right. said, you know, kill him. Kill him. Yeah. yeah, he made that he made that speech because of his guilty conscience. Yeah. Yeah. And when he when he came out and said that, it's like they the the, the his, his handlers, the powers that be that put him in position, they felt as though that this nigga is going he gonna try to tell, you know. He's about to try to say something. So we gonna have to take this nigga out. So they they they, they put a bullet in his neck. And we come to find out, we heard that the bullet, him getting shot, it didn't, it didn't kill him. The, the, the doctors doing the operation on him killed him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? They killed that nigga, man. Yeah. It was... <laughs> when Jake when Jake sell out, but then he ends up uh, getting a guilty conscience, they kill him before he goes out and tells, man. Yeah. Uncle Chester was trying his best to snitch right before he died. He's saying, this thing, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to tell y'all everything. He snitch on everything. I'm gonna go back to Sirach 12. Yeah. Sirach 12 and um, I was at, I was at uh, 15 again. It says, for a while, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Hey, ultimately when you think about it, when Martin Luther King was speaking in that I have a dream speech, he really wasn't speaking for himself. He was speaking for the interests of the higher ups that put him as a puppet to go out there and speak that. You know? The, the, the very same devils who put him up, you know, to that, that position. He was speaking for them, the elite. You know, because it was their plan ultimately to, to integrate, you know, Jake with, with, with society so that, you know, we saw him, him, you know. Fulfill his agenda. Yeah, was, was back then they already knew Which is what they're working on right now. Yeah. The one world system. Right. You know, they, need, they need your they need your uh your involvement to keep it going. Yeah. You know? There's it's too it. much masculinity within the black community, so we, we need to separate the, the, the man and the woman. Let's let's take the father out of the household so that the so that the sons can grow up and be, you know, very effeminate, yeah. you know, irrational. Yeah. They're dependent upon their mothers. Let's, let's start with that first, you know. Let's let's uh, uh, indoctrinate their mothers so that she'll automatically send them to our educational system so that we can uh, uh, institutionalize them, now there are kids. indoctrinate them. Now there are children. Let's give them. Let's give the women benefits, yeah. housing, so she can. Yeah, so she can feel. Uh, so feel all the, 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 the uh, things that a man would naturally provide mm -hmm. for. Her. Yeah. We're gonna give her that as long as she don't have a man. Yeah. yeah. No? Yeah, and then let's make her life work, you know? So then this is going to trickle down into the children, you know, for a depopulation method. 
Hey, Esau is crafty with it, man. You know, yeah, hey, like the scriptures say, we always bring up. So they sleep not except they have the mischief upon their beds, man. You know, Esau has thought this out how to destroy Jake, man. And, he, and Jake has allowed him rich. to do it, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's where I got to put my bag. You know? So I'm keep reading this. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Yeah, he saw uh, me in your corner making it seem as if he's really sad with you. Oh yeah, trying to sympathize like he understands. Like he's a humanitarian. Yeah. Like in the back of his head, look at what happened when uh when Haiti got hit with the earthquake, man. You know? Who were who some of the first people to step up? The Clintons. You know what I'm saying? And nobody went to went to Levi down there, man. You know, they're still they're still struggling. Still going through hell from uh, what the Lord brought to their ass, man. You know, all that Red Cross and all those different fund uh, foundations that were, uh, were getting money and canned goods donated unto them. Hey, the, the Clintons took a lot of that money, man. A lot of that stuff sat at the airport, man. Yeah. Nobody pushed it out uh, yeah. amongst the island. Kind. Same with Puerto Rico. Yeah. Hey, they same with Flint, Michigan. They said they found a warehouse full of uh, clean water out of yeah. Flint. And, you know. Yeah, exactly. Says, uh, you know the Clintons went down there and ported up a lot of the uh, Jake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For that, for that pizza party. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. It says, uh, if adversity come upon, this is the point right here. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Yeah. Though he pretend to help, yet shall he uh, undermine thee. Hey, undermine in the margin it says to supplant. Yep. You know. He's still trying to supplant. You, know, you think that he's he's here for the. For, your interest, your uh, benefit, you know, your political, social, economic benefit, but really, he's there to actually uh, 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 suppress you. Man. But you're thinking that because, you know, this figure that he's putting in your face, you know, he's such an influential type of person, he has a quote of personality, you know, everything that he speaks, it sounds like, you know, it's, it's something powerful, but really, Esau is, is giving this dude what to say to the people. Man. That whole I have this dream speech wasn't even written by uh, Martin Luther King. It was written by Stanley Levinson, yep. who was a so-called Jew. You know? And you got people, you know, and, 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 and in the school system, they got our people, you know, basically, when we learn history, we got to recite the fuck, we got to memorize and recite that damn speech. But that was a, that's yeah. what all the kids don't know here. That's he's a, he's yeah. like, and they put MLK as a spearhead of Black History Month. Yeah. And Black History ain't nothing but fucking slave history. That's, that's the real truth though. Black history is white supremacy. That is. Yeah, it yeah. Is. That's exactly what it yeah, is. God. It's real. All your leaders were set up by, by, by Esau. Right. Hey, even uh, J. Edgar Hoover made the statement. He said, uh, 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 what did he say? He said, black people will never have another Messiah unless we create them. Yeah, yeah, unless we Unless we can, unless we can create, them. unless we give it to them, there will be another. They'll never have another Messiah unless we can make them. Or we can give it to them, or something, or something that affect. The point was, if it don't go through Esau, we can't have it. But that's that's the beautiful thing about this truth. We already have one, and he's coming back to rescue his chosen, his elect. All right. Uh, last verse is said, he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Yeah, it'll be all cool, but when he get the chance, hey, it, it would always, this scripture always reminded me of, uh, of uh, what was his name, the emperor from uh, um, Attack of the Clones, uh, or in the third one, uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith. No, no, please help me. And as soon as he was like, no, I gotta kill him. And so uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker helped him. As soon as he did, he came and turned, you saw his countenance change into that evil, wicked uh, uh, emperor. Uh, and then they killed, they killed uh, uh, Mace Windu. No? That was it on that. I got something. Uh, second Nazareth 15 and verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. God, our people are led to the uh, Our people are led as a flock to the slaughter, man. And because the elites, they call you uh, going, man. You know what I mean? A sheep, or, man. Yeah, sheep or cattle. Because really, all Jake. Hey, they're controlled by, by the image that Esau gives them, man. Whether it be social media, anything basically uh, that, that that becomes a fad, Esau's controlling it, man. Hey, uh, my case of point, you have this talk on, on uh, social media about this uh, movement called the ADOS. 
was basically known as uh, American descendants of slaves. Oh, they all they, this whole political movement is about getting reparations for Jake that were only born here of the families that that came over here on slave ships. And they're anti-immigrants, by the way. Meaning, even if there's Jakes from you know from the diaspora, yeah, that's from West that. Africa, right, from right. Haiti, the, the Caribbean island, they're to be excluded from those reparations because they didn't serve slavery over here on the shores of America. So these niggas are, you know, they're, they're pushing that out there, thinking that Esau is going to give them a handout, you know. But come to find out, the two main uh, uh, people who, who pushed this movement at the forefront of this movement, uh, 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 one of them is a, is a female uh, dyke. Her name is uh, Yv Yvette Cornell. Little light-skinned chick with, with, with basically uh, short hair, you know. She's a straight-up dyke, man. That's not by coincidence that these movements be having these uh, women at the forefront, you know, and, and she a lesbian at that, man. Anything where you have a woman at the forefront of a movement, the Lord ain't dealing with it, man. That's why even in this thing, you ain't gonna see no woman at the forefront of this, man. The Lord said unto men, all, all men I call. You know? So if this thing be of, 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 of men, it shall come to naught. That's why all these different political and economic movements that Jake set up in society, that's why it never flourishes, man. It never succeeds, okay? It's because you niggas that forgot your creator, man. You know? You make flesh your arm, man. You don't take count on the most high. The most high is never the, the, the topic of discussion when it comes to trying to right. find a solution for anything. Right. Right. Anytime these niggas have these little uh, conventions and, and meetings and stuff like that, you think the most high is, is, is even brought up in conversation? A lot of these niggas are atheists. A lot of these niggas, they believe in the government. They believe in this, this system, man. Bro, ne you never gonna make it out of this thing through this man's system, man. It was meant to hold you back, man, to keep you suppressed. That's the whole point. The That's the whole point, man. It's a pit. Only a token few niggas are allowed to, 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 to climb to the top of that pit. They, but they, they still they gotta be within they, the they, confines they, of that pit, they, though. They, they, they come out the pit, they're on the edge of the pit, but they still got a chain tying them to the bottom of that pit. You can't get out of it. Exactly. You'll never Push be able to get out of it. Right back. Look at Bill Cosby sell all the ass, man. I hate to say that for, for y'all that love him, but fuck it, man. This man did what he did. He tried to do something that looked like it uplifted black people. But it ain't about black people. He didn't educate all of our nation. As soon as he, he was up there, uh, climbed himself out the pit, they kicked this nigga back in the pit. He, he deeper in the pit now than, than he ever was. Uh, all Jake did would have stayed on the pit. And because yeah. he sold out to get in that position, man. And yeah. whether it be that, that nigga R. Kelly, you know, like the brother said, uh, Bill Cosby. Yeah, Bill Cosby. Yeah, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. No, all Jake did would have stayed, man. Hey, because this is an arrest, man. Hey, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be trying to get out of this place uh, monetarily, man. Hey, you got you to gotta release from, from this place spiritually, man. Yeah, yeah, physical is like I'm saying. Mental and physical is not, uh, physical is not the way to get out of this place. You can't even, you niggas don't even know how to escape mentally. Yeah. yeah. It's all about spiritually going first. Once you spiritually go, the rest will follow. John 8, 32. Yeah. Michael chapter 2, verse 10. Yeah. Rise ye and depart, yep, yep. for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. God, and, and that's the point, man. Hey, America does that, man. Every time you believe in the philosophies of America, like you got, you even got Israelites, you got Jake within the circumcision that's saying, oh, we need to build a kingdom within the kingdom. Yeah. What kind of stupid shit is that, man? This ain't, this ain't, this ain't a, a Game of Thrones. Yeah, man. well, how does that even make sense? When will, if you if you believe that you're an Israelite, man, how how does it make sense that you're gonna you're gonna prosper within a, another man's rulership? <laughs> and you think you think the man who you who he let's let just let just uh, uh, let, me, let me phrase it a certain way. Esau believes that Jacob stole his his blessing, right? right. So now that he has his dominion, you think he's gonna make Jacob co heirs with him with, with right, right, right. in a blessing that he that he believed his brother stole from him. Hell no, he gonna be as unfair as he fucking can, man. Right. He gonna be very unfair with you, man. You know? That's why that's why opportunities are always blocked for you, Jakes, man. So that you can never be in position to, to, to excel. You know? And that's one thing Jake can't accept. They can't accept not reaching their goals in this society. You know? 
their goals are, are uh, of, a, of a different nature. Are their goals are carnal. Yeah, they're, they're vain. Yeah. They're vain. What what does what does this building Israelite neighborhoods and having farms and all that do for you? Nigga, you still eating GMOs, you know? The, 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 the rain is tainted. God, everything is messed up. Hey, and with your it's heart being set up on that, your heart is farther away from the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hold on. What, what, what exactly do Jake control right. in, this, in, this, in this society? What industry? We're, we're waiting, what resources? We're waiting, we're waiting. We're waiting. You know? What, what military do Jake have? Crickets. You got Crip, Crips and Bloods and, 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 and Latin Kings and... Nathaniel's and Sardinos and Vice Lords and MS-13. Hey, by the way, Esau gave you those. He's, he, he set it up. Yeah. He set that shit up, man. And guess what? When anything that Esau uh, 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 infiltrates, he, he steps outside of it and watches it fall and crumble. Because that's ultimately that's what happened when you Jake formed them gangs and all that to, to basically defend yourself from so-called white supremacy and, and uh, uh, brutality. Esau basically infiltrated that man. He, he set up the the the, uh, the drug works. epidemic. Yeah. He brought the drugs into there, and, and it went from protecting your neighborhood to, hey, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make this money now. I gotta hold the block down. And then he uh, he brought the drugs into the neighborhoods, and then he said, oh, we're gonna wage war on drugs, yeah. which was which meant war on you yeah. niggas wait, 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 and spits. Wait, 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 we're missing a, a <laughs> integral part that happened when he brought the drugs in. The moment you try to take the drugs out to a different neighborhood, they get you. Yeah. Yeah. So what did that leave you to do with all them drugs? You gotta make the money, that was your goal. You gotta sell it amongst the people in the neighborhood. So I'm giving I'm giving you these drugs to pollute your own neighborhood and your own people. And, and then declare the war on drugs huh? upon you and your own people. And everyone got rich off that the drugs and the gangs, except you Jakes. They, except the, the, the judicial system, yeah. the lawyers. Yeah, the, uh, the, CIA. Uh, the drug yeah, dealers. Yeah, yeah, the drug the dealers. The police, because they was you had gang task force and all that shit. We yeah. got all types of uh, the prison system. Yeah. yeah. Man, they make it. They make it a killer. They kill it, man. The prison, the prison industrial complex. But um, the uh, uh, the music business too, because they um they push that whole um with the public enemy vibe. But when them niggas, them NWA niggas came, they pushed that heavy. They changed it. Hey. We, we yeah. the ones creating so jobs. Yeah. yeah, Amalek. Yeah, Amalek. He was like, you yeah. know what? No, this right. is making all the money. Government jobs. <laughs> them saying, them telling Jake to be niggas and, and slinging yeah. drugs and being gangsters. That's the that's what sells. So yeah. Them were the only any artists that's that's their content. We 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 signing you. Right. You, you gonna make our label buku? How many you know? jobs did, we, did that not create? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good good good. good. Good, Good government, government job. paying jobs, yeah, man. Yeah, you know? Shit. Yeah, yeah. And that, but that I, I ain't the rest of this place, though. That's, that's the rest of this place. I got I got to hit him. It's Isaiah 52, verse 1 through 2. It says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Yeah, awake out of the, the dead mentality, the spiritually dead mentality that you got uh, believing in this society. Okay, go ahead. It says, Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. Beautiful garments is the, the wisdom and power of, of, in the name also of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the beautiful garments that we should be wearing. That's how we get dressed for this wedding feast, man. That's for henceforth, there shall no more come unto thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down on Jerusalem. The dust is confusion. Get, get unconfused, figure it out in your mind, and follow after, uh, after the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. The truth will make you free. You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Okay? So, you know, that's a good yeah, I mean, that was the point. Yeah. As long as you just continue to fight for this place, and, this, and you still believe in this system, this society, you're still going to be mentally chained down to your oppressor, man. Right. You know? He saw, he still got you, man. The only way out of that is through this, man. But the same, man, you still, you still in slavery, man. You still in shackles, man. You know, even though you got on a, a plantation, and you, you still gonna work, you know. You still, you're still, uh, you're still a slave, man. You know, it went from plantation to corporation. Now you don't know who your enemy is, man. You know, you, you believe you.
And that's why I really, when Esau sees what we're doing out here and all the different brothers around the world, the reason why he considers this an act of terrorism is because it seems like we're, we're, we, we're, we're escaping mentally from this prison that he that he set up for us. It's like we're like uh, escaped slaves that got away. And now, and now we're forming and building. You niggas are supposed to go right back into to the, to the mental chakras, man. God, you're not doing it off of our own will, man. You know, it's this Yahweh by Shema was trying to, let's do the spirit of Yahweh Shema was trying to raise to do this, man. It's not like we're just building it and we're doing this ourselves, man. Hey, what's well, like, while we're, while through the spirit of Yahweh Shema was shy, you know, we're helping to free the minds of, 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 of Jake. You got the likes of vocab uh, and, and, and these different Christian apologists. Their job is to come back out and basically catch escaping slaves to bring them back to the plantation. Yeah. Um, Apostle Aramla called uh, vocab terrorist, man. He is a, yeah, he's, he's a straight up terrorist. Yeah. I mean, if you see his dirty look, you don't pay attention to what he's like, telling you. Yeah. He's, lying, he's trying to line us up, man. He, he is a terrorist, man. That dude want to see bloodshed, man. He's just hiding behind that Christian wholesome fake persona, man. Yeah. That dude want to see blood spill, man. He, 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 he wished for the death of uh, Israel. He's the ultimate accuser of, of yeah. our brethren. Look how hard he's pushing, man. Nothing else concerns that guy, man. Not, not the Catholic priest that's uh, molesting all these children. You know, he, 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 he's not vocal about that. Uh, homosexuality, that's, that's uh, uh, rampant. Transgenderism, you know. He ain't talking about nothing, man. We're, we're the concern. All types of heavy. Uh, and you know why he ain't running from it? Because the Bible addresses all these topics. That's why we hit all these topics. But he's like, no, nah, somebody else will deal with that. My job is to be focused on you. 100% focus on y'all. Every once in a while, he'll throw in a cheapy little video on something else, Islam or something. Nobody watches that shit. Out of, out of, out of, uh, three out of every four videos he does has Hebrew Israelites in it. He only throws some other ones in just, just to, to tie something else in to say he's doing other stuff. No, I got other videos out there besides just you guys. Because he didn't before. All of a sudden we start calling him out about it. Now he will throw one or two here and there. We know what your real agenda is, man. Even those videos have a stench of, of hatred toward the, the Hebrew Israelites in it. If he's trying to line this with, with uh, Islam, Islam is the face of terrorism. That's, that's exactly who uh, Esau is waging war against the enemies. I mean, not particularly Islam, but certain Islamic countries. You know? But they're trying to put us in that same boat. Usually when Esau uh, uh, hits a certain narrative about a certain organization, he's doing that so he can justify himself to, to uh, St. John chapter 8, verse 40, uh, 34, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. God, and that's talking about going into spiritually, man. Hey, because the truth is the wisdom of the scriptures, man. And hey, through uh, through the spirit of Bar Yabash Shai, hey, we're able to do this, man. Hey, because we're we're we we have been released from, from these uh mental and spiritual shackles, man. You know, the most high has, uh, has allowed us to come on the highways and hedges and preach the, the gospel of, of, of freedom, man. You know? A break, a breaking, of being able to break through from this society, hey, from Esau's, from Esau's regiment, man. You know, jail, jail break. Kind. Hey, when you come into this thing, one of the uh, ways that we free ourselves. natural herbs and, and, and you know tinctures and stuff like that now you now you're being free from the dependency on big pharma the pharmaceutical industry which is where he makes a lot of his money billions of dollars from you know so that's another that's one way that you broke away all right you you know you don't fall uh, to this man's uh, witchcraft you know you, you learn not to uh, uh, believe everything he says in the media you know how to fact check uh, for yourself 
Look up the meaning of words. You look up the meaning of words, and when you, the more you look up words, the more you see that Esau is a straight up word wizard, man. Yeah. You know? Exactly. New, yeah, double speak, new speak. You know? That's why the scriptures tell us to, to uh, uh, arm ourselves, you know, uh, uh, put on a, uh, the, the whole oh, armor of the most high that we may be able to uh, uh, withstand, uh, withstand the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. With this knowledge, man, we, we we block all type of you know uh, uh, swings and combinations from from the devil, man. I want to make a quick point because we were talking, we were going into it, talking about reparations, right? Because we, we were still waiting uh, on forty acres and a mule. We never got that. Well, that ain't it ain't gonna happen. Because when we decided, whoever decided on forty acres and a mule, currently that was a pretty good idea. We could have went and established ourselves, but most I didn't want that either. So this whole reparation thing that comes up now. What did Esau say? Oh, we're not going to give him the money. Now, nah, forget that. They ain't getting the money. So what are we going to do? We're going to give them the opportunity to, uh, to, to go into certain trade schools and, uh, and universities to, to college education. Well, that's putting us right back into your pit. <laughs> that's the whole way that this man works. That's why that, that, that idea will never work. That whole idea will never work. This man's got to come completely out of power to reestablish righteousness upon earth. Then the righteous will rule in the, in the earth. Kanye, you rising up ain't about to do it, man. No. It's the, the most high, Yahweh is sending down, Yahweh shining the host of heaven to do it, man. It's just you, you're not breaking this whole system with no guns and thinking you're gonna fight your way out of this, man. Yeah, you ain't fighting like that. I mean, how you think the break away from this man's system when you still dependent upon his pharmaceutical industry? You still you, you still go to him for for, for uh, prescription. You know you spend a lot of money with that. You still celebrate his, his pagan holidays. You still give him money right back to his establishment, right to his corporations. Uh, they generate a lot of money off of you simple, simple niggas not understanding a uh, 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 history. Man. You know that's another way to uh, that. Once you come into the knowledge of the truth, you break away from that. You ain't following not one of these uh, uh, pagan traditions or this wicked ass place, man. So guess what? He saw he lose money behind uh, 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 Israelites with people, man. They're coming back to their heritage. Man. And you know, if you look up closely, like Doritos and certain uh, certain companies, uh, uh, you know, food companies, when they realize that we stop eating pork and all those different things like that, they was like, damn, why the numbers drop? It didn't drop much, but it's dropping. What's going on? Well, they ain't eating it no more. They heard they got, they know they got gelatin or whatever in it. And some of them took it out. And they took it out. They realized, like, damn, I'm going to get calls on this. You better take that shit out. Is it going to hurt the formula? No. Well, why was it in there? <laughs> we know why. Okay, so this is uh, Judah chapter 5, and verse, uh, I'll start at 19. It says, but now are we returned it's like yes, but but now are they returned to their power and are come up from the places where they were scattered <laughs> and I possess Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country where it, it is desolate. It makes me think, like, like, think about um, the ox knows his master's crib and the ass is uh, on the I forgot how to work. That's the script, right. Not we're scattered looking for where's our God, where's our power. Well, now we've returned and we're telling you where the power is. And that's the spirit, too, because when, uh, when you read, I believe it's um, is it the book of uh, Judges, when, uh, when Israel, when we kept going off as a people, but the moment we uh, we got closer and faced the east, man, we got prayed unto the Heavenly Father. And that's when things started getting good for us. And when every, but due to our disobedience, we were, we were always put into these uh, captivities, man. Hey, but the moment we get right, get together spiritually, hey, things start to change for us, man. Hey, like an elder Dr. Wamba said it. He said, hey, uh, the, the world is mad. Why is the world mad when we start to repent, man? You know? This is an act of uh, revolution. This, this is really an act of revolution. Yeah, man. God. Just repentance, man. Coming out of the ways of this world, that's that's an act of terrorism, man. Yeah. See? Hey, that's what hey, that's why you think Haman tried to push those letters out to the king. Treason. It's treason. Treason. You know? It says uh verse 20, and this was going back to the time of uh, when Cyrus was able to uh call Judah back over to the land and start building the, the temple. It says, Now therefore, my lord and governor, 
if there be any error in this people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. So as long as, you know, we're uh, <laughs> hearkening unto uh, uh, the other nations, you know, following their gods and their customs, you know, doing what the nations do, you know, instead of actually trusting on Yahweh Hashem El Shai, the Most High is going to basically strip us of our power and basically allow for those nations to, to overthrow us, you know? And that's what he does every time, right? It says, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them that we become a reproach before all the world. Hey, you know, and, and, that's, and that's the reason why their job is to make sure that, pursuant to us, uh, Psalms the 83rd chapter, that, that uh, the name of Israel be no more remembrance, man. Cut, cut them off from being a people that they uh, 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 not be a nation. You know, that the name of Israel be no more remembrance, man. Because, hey, we're, we're, the, the Lord called us Zion because the word Zion uh, means monument, which means to remember. You're supposed to be able to look at Israel to remember the majesty of the Most High, man. But how could you if Jacob is acting like a bunch of damn heathens, man? They're not being a, a true representation of the Most High on the earth. You know? They're a bunch of homeborn home slaves, man. Spoiler. Well, I want to put this word treason out right now. So now Circa uh, 12, 1200, it says betraying, betrayal of trust, breach of faith. All right? Um, treason, treachery, <laughs> right? In old French, trason, right? It's treachery and treason. Now I'm going to jump down, though, to this, to this what's written about it. It says, in old English law, high treason, treason is violation by a subject to his allegiance to his sovereign or to the state. And that's what the problem is. Us doing this shows that we're not, uh, we don't want to be subject to our, uh, what do say, our, our sovereign or uh, which DC and, and, and those elites are sovereign to the laws that we're under. Okay, well they can take us to jail for certain things. They're sovereign. They, they don't get, they're not, uh, uh, the, the same rules don't apply to them. Yeah. Okay? It says, um, high treason is a, is a violation by a subject to his allegiance uh, to his sovereign or to the state. Distinguished from uh, petty treason, treason against a subject such as a murderer of a master by his servant. Right? It says constructive treason. Well, well, well anyway, it goes on in different kinds. Um, look, 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 it says we're punished as though they were treason itself. Either way, because they don't like they don't like the fact that we were coming up against the establishment, and that's what they don't like now. Okay, but we have to speak it into existence through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai unto our people. All right, so they understand. Hey, you think we're out here just just uh, just willy nilly? We have a power that's backing us in this. That, that power is why we're even out here. Somebody grab us. Uh, that was the Psalm of Fire. Uh, in the face of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Bring that real quick and I'll get it right back. Listen to Psalm of Fire 1. What? Then shall the righteous man stand in the great boldness. What makes us righteous to the Heavenly Father called us to do this thing?